An embedded derivative is simply a derivative that is included within a non-derivative host contract. We use the term hybrid instrument to refer to the combination of the host contract and the embedded derivative. The host contract refers to business contracts for things such as the sale or purchase of goods. The embedded derivative is the aspect or part of a host contract that presents an exposure to changes in an underlying variable, such as the inflation rate or a foreign exchange rate. Consider a business contract for an Australian organisation to export furniture priced in US dollars. The host contract is the contract to sell the furniture. The embedded derivative is the part of the contract that converts an Australian dollar host contract into US dollars, just like a forward exchange contract, or FEC. While we now know what an embedded derivative is, the question becomes, why do we need to know this? The reason comes back to accounting standards and the provision of useful information to users of financial reports. Derivatives provide leveraged exposure to underlying variables and can change the risk profile of an organisation. So users of financial statements want to know whether there are any derivatives impacting on the financial standing of the organisation. The purpose of assessing whether an embedded derivative exists in a host contract is therefore to determine whether it should be accounted for separately in the financial statements. So once we have determined that an embedded derivative exists, how do we determine whether it should be accounted for separately in the financial statements? There is a three-step process to determine this. Firstly, is the host contract fair valued? If the host contract is already fair valued in the financial statements, with fair value changes going directly to profit and loss, then there is no need to separately account for the embedded derivative. This is because the embedded derivative is already being fair valued as part of the host contract. Secondly, does the embedded derivative meet the accounting definition of a derivative? That is, its value changes in response to changes in an underlying price, rate or other variable. It doesn't require an initial net investment or only requires a small leveraged initial net investment. And it is settled at a future date. If it doesn't meet the definition of a derivative, then it won't be separately accounted for. Thirdly, is the embedded derivative closely related to the host contract? Here, we are looking at the economic characteristics and risks of the embedded derivative to see how closely they relate to the host contract. To be closely related, the embedded derivative should not be leveraged if the embedded derivative is closely related, then there is no need to separately account for it. However, if it is not closely related, then it needs to be separately accounted for. The standards refer to characteristics of embedded derivatives that exempt them from being separated. Firstly, for a borrowing contract, where the contract interest rate increases by less than a factor of two, each time the reference interest rate increases. Secondly, for a borrowing contract, where the current interest rate sits above a floor rate and or below a cap rate. Thirdly, for a sales or purchase contract, where payment is made in the functional currency of a contract party, or in the currency that the goods are routinely bought and sold, such as the US dollar or in a currency that matches the economic environment of the transaction, such as USD for a trade in China. Lastly, for a lease contract, where there is an inflation adjustment clause that relates to the entity's own economic environment. In all of these situations, the embedded derivative would be deemed closely held and would not need to be separately accounted for. However, if the embedded derivative does need to be separately accounted for, it should be treated as a derivative and valued accordingly. An embedded non-option derivative, such as a forward or a swap, will have a fair value of zero at inception. In this situation, the host contract will have the full carrying amount.
An embedded option derivative will have a fair value reflecting its terms and features. In this situation, the carrying amount of the host contract will be reduced by the embedded option that has been separated. The embedded derivative is then revalued at the end of each period, and the gain or loss will be taken direct to profit and loss. To recap, embedded derivatives are simply derivatives that are included within a host contract, together forming a hybrid instrument. Embedded derivatives can change the characteristics and risks of the host contract, and this information is important to users of financial statements. There are a number of steps to determine whether such embedded derivatives should be separately accounted for in the financial statements. The end result is that they are fair value to profit and loss, whether separately or as part of the hybrid instrument.